Went for the weekend sweep yesterday, but unfortunately did not get it after hitting top-rated 15-dime winner number 13 out of 20 on Friday night with the Rockets in the home route of Minnesota. Then followed it with a fourth straight 20-dime raised the bar winner in college basketball for the season, going 4-for-4 four four up to that point with Saturday night's winner with Western Kentucky, a three-point favorite over Old Dominion in a route by 22 points. Oh, ending Old Dominion's nine-game winning streak. I came with another one on Sunday, but it was not to be because Nevada, the big 16-and-a-half point favorite, didn't even come close to covering against Colorado State. But I got to tell you guys here, Monday, I do not have buyer's remorse. I am never one of those guys who looks back and said, I should have, could have, would have done something differently. That's just not the way you do it. If you're a gambler, you've got to have the balls to go ahead and do it. You got to put the money down on the table. You got to walk up to the cashier's window. You got to get the ticket and you can't look back with regret. It's gambling. What are you doing gambling if you're going to be sitting there and second guessing yourself? You've got to have the confidence going into the play that you're going to win. I believe, if memory serves me correct, that. For the past five weekends going into this one, I've either gone 3-0 and or hit two out of three each of the past five weekends. Why well, hit two out of three again? Hey, listen, greed is good. Michael Douglas's character is right in Wall Street. Greed is good. I don't care. I was going for the 3-0 and sweep. And it won't stop me tonight with coming back with top-rated 15-dime winner, potentially number 14 out of 21 on the Duke-Virginia Tech game. After all, again, it's gambling. If you don't think you're going to be able to win, why the hell are you doing it in the first place? It was a bad call on the bottom, but still, those raised the bar 20 dime releases. That was only the 24th ever I had in college basketball over the past 15 years. I've had five of them this season alone because I have been in a groove in college hoops over the past five weeks, and I'd gone four for four, and I'm now four out of five. Hey, if you had told me at the start of the college basketball season I'd hit at an 80% clip with those pig plays, I'd take it. And the next one I see coming around the corner, I'll have another 29 play as well. Let's get to your complimentary plays. Um, yesterday I took a split. I cashed in with Nebraska. I was on the wrong side of the Cavaliers game. Uh, I have one play for you tonight. It's in the NBA. I'm going to go with the Boston Celtics minus the double digits at home against the Memphis Grizzlies. Now the Celtics are 2-0 coming out of the break. Have they played exceptionally well? No, they have not. It really has more with to do with who they have played coming out of the break. Uh, they won Saturday against the Knicks. I think you, me, and uh, you know probably five other guys we can find out there in YouTube land. We could probably all get together and beat the Knicks. Uh, they won 112 or 121 to 113. Uh, in that game Saturday, they beat the Pistons 110-98 to on Friday. How's that Blake Griffin trade working out for you, Detroit? Uh, but, listen, they're playing the Grizzlies, Grizzlies tonight. And the Grizzlies are just a bad team. They're 0-2 coming out of the break, right? They lost Friday at home against the Cavaliers. I gave you Cleveland last Friday on the video report. Uh, Cavaliers beat the hell out of them 112-89. to Then they lost Saturday at Miami 115-89. to Some people will point out that Marcus Gasol did not play that game. It didn't matter. It didn't matter whether Marc Gasol played. They could have brought in his brother Powell to play that game, too. It wouldn't have mattered. The Grizzlies would have lost that game anyway. They've lost nine in a row overall. They've lost nine in a row on the road. Their defense, what defense? They're not playing any defense. They've allowed an average of 107.8 points a game the last 12 games. Now, the Celtics are 0-3 on their last homestand. They lost to the Clippers, they lost to the Cavaliers, they lost to the Pacers. Making matters worse for Memphis tonight, Tyreek Evans. Now, here's the, the ironic part of this story. They sat Tyreek Evans because they were greedy, trying to get a first-round draft pick for him. They sat him protecting his health prior to the trade deadline, prior to the All-Star break, right? They sat him all those games... Then they couldn't swing a deal for him. Gets back into action, hurts his ribs. Now he's going to miss his second straight game. Averaging about 19 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists a game. So they're going to miss one of their few bona fide scorers other than Gasa, who's going to play tonight, right? So he's out tonight. Chandler Parsons, who's 
pretty much been missing in action for the past three years of his career. He's probably going to be out tonight as well for a team that's 5-22 and 22 on the road. Now, are the Celtics that good right now? Not necessarily. They're not as good as they looked earlier in the season when they were winning all those games and you had to wonder why. Why? Well, because Kyrie Irving was playing out of his mind and they were getting great contributions from all those young guys. But they did get Marcus Smart back in the lineup, and they aren't as bad as they've looked here lately. And by bad, I mean when you go 0-3 in your last homestand, losing to the Clippers, Cavaliers, and the Pacers, how do you lose to the Clippers at home? Go figure. But it's a big number, but the Grizzlies really are that bad. And I'm looking for the Celtics to continue that momentum coming out of the break where they got a little rest to recharge their batteries. And again, this Grizzlies team plays no defense whatsoever, giving up almost 108 points the past 11 games. So if I've got to play the game, I've got to lay the points with the Celtics. And that's the way I'm going in this game. Boston is your complimentary play. That'll do it. We'll talk again on Tuesday when we do this one more time. Good luck.